guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Here on my channel, I do planner and planner related videos, DIY tutorials, budget videos, and the occasional new release video of items that I've listed to my Etsy shop. And if that is of interest to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you hit that little notification bell, you'll always be notified of when I load a new video. Commenting, liking, and sharing this video on your favorite platform does help my channel grow and would be truly appreciated. Okay, it's been a while, like a long while, since I've done a recipe video, but for one of my Vlogmas videos for Vlogmas 2019, I actually wanted to share a quick and easy dessert that my family enjoys, and really you can enjoy it any time of the year, we just only ever make it around the holidays. We might make it for Thanksgiving, we'll definitely make it for Christmas, and then that's that's it. And for us, it's called holiday fruit salad. Um, I think it is a basic version of ambrosia, but we don't do all the stuff that um, I've seen other people do. In fact, this is in a three ingredient, at least in the original form, recipe. Now this is my DIY recipe book, and I think it's I think it's kind of funny because if I'm not mistaken, the new Happy Planner recipe book that they've put out, because I don't think it's a planner, I think it's just a, a recipe book, they've basically done what I've done here where they've taken these sheets and then just put them into an actual disc bound system versus selling them loose. Because I picked these up from Joanne like back in... June or something and then I made this cover out of a file folder punched it I had added stickers it's laminated this is some um, scrapbook paper that I had and I just made my own and the paper here comes in four different colorways and so I had made four different sections and then the one and only recipe um, plan with me was this one here for creamy chicken taco casserole so I will link, because I can't remember if the video to put this together and the recipe video were the same video or two different ones, but whatever they are, I will link them below. But uh, this is the appetizer section. This is the main dish section, side dish, and desserts. And that's the section that we're going to be working on today. And like I said, this is... Um, holiday fruit cocktail and so let me write that in and I'll be right back okay so I wanted to do some light decorating so I have Christmas joy uh, mini that was sent to me by my friend Val from Nate's Mom Plams and I'll link her channel below and then the happy memory keeping in holidays and actually let me write it and then because like I said it's a really quick and easy uh, recipe so for one recipe um, and it serves four to six well, at least in my house <laughs> it is one 30 ounce can of fruit cocktail in syrup fruit and I think there's also a, like tropical fruit cocktail we never buy that one at least not for this um this one is the one that has the peaches and the pears and the pineapples the grapes and the little maraschino cherries um but you definitely want to get the one in syrup i'm not sure if they have in just water or juice but the syrup is the one that we always get so you want one of those and then you want one four ounce block which is either one of those little blocks of cream cheese or half of the regular brick of cream cheese and you want cream cheese and we get full fat I mean it's the holidays so why mess around and then you want one 16 ounce tub of Cool Whip. And we use the regular, we use light, we use fat-free. All of those different Cool Whips actually taste exactly the same to me. So really it's just whatever's on sale. Now, optional to this 
optional is if you like mandarin oranges. I don't know if I spelled that right. Peaches, apples, marshmallow, or nuts. Now, what we'll do is we'll make just the batch, and it's better if you make it and chill it so that everything um, kind of marries together. And then an individual people, uh, sometimes I like to mix in one of those little fruit cups of mandarin oranges or peaches with the, the juice out. It's just really just the fruit or some diced apples, some mini marshmallows or some nuts, but that is optional um, because most of the time we're just gonna stay to this, but we have sometimes uh, done that as individuals. Now the directions are actually really easy and again I will decorate once this is done because it's super easy. So with a hand mixer you want to just whip up the cream cheese that way you don't have to have it come to room temperature just to soften it up. So with hand mixer soften cream cheese and you do want your Cool Whip to at least be spoonable. It doesn't have to be all the way soft, but um, it shouldn't be frozen. And then add one big spoon of the Cool Whip to the cream cheese. Now you're gonna use the whole thing, but the reason why you wanna add, well, let me write it, add one big spoon of Cool Whip. to cream cheese and blend. And what you're really doing is you're sort of tempering, it's not really the right word, but you want to make that less thick because cream cheese is very thick and you don't want to add all of the Cool Whip because you could get lumps. So if you add just a big dollop of Cool Whip in there and whip that together and then maybe do that one more time, and so repeat once, then the cream cheese Cool Whip mixture will be a lot lighter. And then you can um, pour in your drained fruit cocktail. The, there is no sugar added to this, so whatever sugar is in the fruit cocktail with the syrup, as well as however sweetened that is, th there's nothing else going in here. That's why you want the syrup one, but you don't want this to be soupy. So you do want um, your fruit cocktail to be drained of the syrup. You just want the syrup to help sweeten the fruit if that makes sense. <laughs> so pour in drained fruit cocktail and mix that gently with a spoon or a spatula. Mix gently with spoon or spatula and then fold in the rest of your Cool Whip. And I like to refrigerate it for at least uh, two hours before serving. I mean, you can eat it right then and there, and I have, <laughs> but it tastes better the longer that it sits. So refrigerate for two hours before serving. And it serves four to six people. Sometimes when we had family come over, we would do two or three big cans and then put it in like one of those tins. Um, not as big as the one you'd put a turkey in, but something like that um, because it just makes a really easy, simple, and refreshing dessert. I think some people treat that as like a salad. We never have, so this to me is a dessert. And again, if you want to, you can top it with optional 
toppings, you know, whatever you're liking. Uh, I know that some people who do this as an ambrosia kind of do it like sometimes with sour cream or mayonnaise. Again, we've We've never done that in my house. So this is the only way that I know how to make it. And it's really the only version that I like to eat it as. <laughs> and so I just wanna do some decorating, take advantage of some of my stickers. All right, guys, so that's it, simply decorated. I didn't actually really need all that space, so might as well cover it up. Now, have you ever eaten anything like this? Have you ever made this? And would you? I'd love to know in the comments below. All right, guys, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.